Welcome back everybody! Today we're going to be talking about Sonic Wall NSA 240 appliance firewall and setting up VLANs for Unify Wi-Fi. So stay tuned! Okay, so let's just jump right in. I'm going to go through the wizard of setting up the NSA appliance really fast. All right, so we're just gonna start clicking next. Um, my password is fine. Eastern time is fine. This is, if you have a modem, 3G, 4G modem connected to the appliance. WAN network mode, which is as usual, static mode, VPN, point-to-point uh, -point over ethernet or DHCP. For our purposes, DHCP works just fine. Okay, so this is if you want to allow connection from the outside on the WAN port to the sonic wall. It's a terrible idea. Don't don't enable it. <laughs> uh, LAN settings. What type of network uh, and subnet? And really fast LAN DHCP set settings. IP address range. Fairly simple. And then port assignment. This Sonic Wall has eight physical ports. Uh, first three ports are gigabit, and I think rest are ten hundred. It is, um, you know, a few years old now. By few, I mean probably ten years old, old or more. Okay, so I'm going to select the LAN, WAN, and DMZ and unassigned ports. I like unassigned ports because, well, I can assign them to be anything really I want in the future and you hit apply at the end make sure your configuration is fine and then it's gonna save those settings and say congratulations right so you would you can insert your license if you have one <laughs> and go through all that so this is not licensed in any way so I don't have uh, you know content filtering nor IPS nor any of those things paid so this is um, interface. Uh, we are on LAN is on X0 port. Okay, and then we have X1 is wide area network and X2 is DMZ. So what we need to do is we need to create a new zone for our Unify Wi-Fi. So let's just do that. Let's call it exactly what it is. So it makes sense to us when we're troubleshooting stuff. So let's call it Unify Wi-Fi, or, you know, in your case, you might call it whatever your heart desires, really. You can call it whatever. So those options on the bottom really are paid services that are not available on this sonic wall. Make sure you select interface type, the security type. So we might want to make this a trusted interface. Uh, if you don't make it a trusted inf interface, uh, you, I mean, you have other options. That means you will not be able to access resources. You could actually just make this an interface that talks to the WAN itself, so it doesn't have any interaction within. And, uh, you, you know, you prevent any traffic from within uh, internal networks to this uh, virtual interface. So let's add a virtual interface. So let's add, uh, you select a zone. You give uh, in VLAN type. You type uh, the ID of the VLAN, a numerical value, of course. The parent interface. I want this to go out on the same wire as the LAN. So it's X zero. So it's static IP. So I'm going to assign it really uh, static IP, which is. 172.16.16.1 uh, netmask is slash 24 or 255.255.255.0 and in the comment if somebody else is going to come and troubleshoot this it might be a good idea to leave them little clues so there you have it this bottom part is for management and if you want to allow management from this interface and usually from Wi-Fi 
unless it's a corporate thing and you want to have access to your you know management then you don't want to enable any of that advanced settings offer you even more features such as QoS multicast and routing modes 802.1 Q so for uh, uh, traffic shaping and uh, all those good stuff but we're not going to get into all those right now there's just not enough time so hit ok save this zone and actually save this interface and, and it's going to show up under XO you see it right up there so we need to set up a DHCP server for this VLAN interface so let's go into DHCP server and add dynamic server and give it range so it's within 172.16.16 and then I am going to start the range at 50 and end the range at 150 this being a C-class network you can have anything between uh, 2 and 254 really and then the least network time I always say this if you have a lot of clients coming and going a lot of guests you want to set that low so it the lease expires pretty fast but if it's you know a test lab like mine then it makes no difference and again I'm leaving a comment breadcrumbs for whoever might be touching the network later on and we need to select the proper interface which is obviously uh, our x0 physical interface and virtual uh, VLAN 123 so DNS you know you can specify it either manually for this zone or leave it as it's set up for the firewall and uh, in advanced you just have uh, more settings if you want to enable uh, network boot settings and all the funky stuff for VoIP most of it you won't have to worry about in most cases hit OK and here we have interface virtual interface 123 on the IPA uh, gateways uh, 172, 1661, uh, CQLS network, etc. So we're going to pause right here and go into our Unify to set that up. So here we go. And here we are again in Unify screen. So now that we've set up our zone, our interface, and our DHCP server in SonicWall, let's go ahead and add a wireless network. So we go to Settings, Wireless Networks, Create Wireless Networks. Now this presumes that your controller and or your access points are located on your LAN network so that sonic points can talk to you and so that we can pass them this tagged VLAN information through your switches whatever they might be because there are a lot of cases where people only have access points nothing else from ubiquity so in this case this is the only thing you would do is you would add a new wireless network okay so let's give it an SSID name just call it call it sonic by naturally you can call it whatever you want you can make it a guest uh, network or not entirely up to you and here's the trick so make sure the wireless ID matches a uh, VLAN matches the VLAN that you specified in your firewall in your sonic wall in your any firewall that you might be using so whether you want it to be open to have a password whether you want it to be a guest network or not is entirely optional the only thing that matters here really is this because the sonic wall will pass out the DHCP range between 172.16.16.50 and 
150. So you have 100 IP addresses that set up in Sonic World that will be dynamically allocated on this VLAN, on this Wi-Fi. And if you hit save, that's all you have to do. That this is it. You would be done. So your uh, new wireless network on 123 VLAN with that VLAN ID would be passed from Sonic Wall to your Unify SSID Sonic file. And that's it. Really, there's nothing else to jump through. Now, if, if you have Unify switches and you would like to use that VLAN for other purposes, you would add that in the networks. You can add a VLAN only network in, in the networks as I've demonstrated with Sophos firewalls and Unify gear. But as far as Wi Fi goes, you don't have to do any of that. You just have to do this and you're done. And thank you very much. And as always, have a great day.